What's the deal? Friday, September 27th, it's 8.08 a.m. And in this video, I want to talk about the deaths that are related to vaping. And I also want to show y'all how easy it is to make black market THC cartridges. Before I do that, I do want to sell my 1,559 shares of Cantrust. Right now, canopy growth seems to be going down. Well, not seem to be going down, but right now, canopy growth is down 3.4% pre-market. So, I just want to uh, do this quick trade or you know, do this quick trade, go into the vaping related deaths, and also show y'all how easy it is to make black market cartridges. So this video is not gonna be a short one, but I'll start right now. Once a high flying item, marijuana vapes take big sales hit after health scare. Vaping products, one of the fastest growing segments of the legal marijuana industry have taken a hit from consumers as public health experts scramble to determine what's causing a mysterious and sometimes fatal lung disease among people who use e-cigarettes. The ailment has sickened at least 805 people and killed 13. Some vape nicotine, but many reported using oil containing C uh, THC, marijuana's high inducing ingredient, and said they bought products from a pop-up shops, from pop-up shops and other illegal sellers. The only death link to THC vapes bought at legal shops occurred in Oregon, where health officials on Thursday announced a second fatality and urged people to stop vaping. Amid the health scare, the amount of the legal pot industry's revenue that comes from vape products has dropped by 15% nationwide, with some states seeing decreases of more than 60%. Joe CEO resigns, vaping companies suspends advertising as crisis continues. Vaping THC is popular for those desiring a quick high without the smoke that comes from lighting up joints. Marijuana companies are trying to boost the public's confidence by promoting that their vaping products are tested by the government, demanding ingredient lists from their vendors, and in some cases, pulling items from the shelves. Some also uh, are scrambling to get liability insurance. Still, many have been notable declines in sales since the health scare emerged on a national scale last month. So there's, there's been notable declines in THC cart sales. All right, so I'll skip that little piece there. But yeah, there's a lot of THC black market carts going around. Um, I do live in Texas, so THC carts are illegal. I know a handful of people who buy THC carts and they vape them and I, I tell them, you know, what's happening, but they don't seem to care. So hopefully they watch this video and stop vaping those black market carts. Toughest state action taken yet. Massachusetts bans all vaping products for four months. In the booming legal U.S. cannabis market, vaping products had been exploding in popularity. In roughly two years, they grew from a small fraction of overall sales to about one-third with $9.6 billion in sales between 2017 and 2019, according to New Frontier Data, an economic analysis firm that tracks the industry. About one-fifth of U.S. cannabis consumers report using them. New Frontier found a 15% decline in the market share for vape sales nationwide during the first week of September and saw no rebound in data collected through September 18th. At the state level, New Mexico, Massachusetts, Nevada, and Montana all saw drops of one-third or more, while California fell by 6%. Oregon, among the earliest of the 11 states that legalized recreational marijuana, has seen a 62% drop in market sales, um, market share for vapes, said John Cagia, the firm's chief knowledge officer. The first big decline occurred after the state's first death was announced and officials said the victim had used vapes purchased at legal retailers. 
Yet as vape sales sink, some retailers report sales of other cannabis products going up. All right, that's a good. That's that's pretty good. That's good news for the cannabis companies at least. Bridge City Collective, for example, saw its usually lackluster edible sales increase about 40% the same week vaping sales plummeted. Consumers also are showing more interest in dried flour used in joints. I mean, you can't go wrong with joints. They've been smoked for thousands of years. Analysts are watching to see if vape sales erode further after the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced Thursday that the number of suspected vaping-related illnesses had grown by 52% in the past week. God, that's fast. This is a very, very fast-moving issue, and it will likely be a couple more weeks, if not months, before we understand the impact it's really had on the retail ecosystem and on the consumers' attitudes, KGS said prior to the announcement. Doctors have said the illnesses resemble an inhalation injury with the lungs apparently reacting to a caustic substance. So far, no single vaping product or ingredient has been linked to the illnesses. Health, health officials in New York are focusing on vitamin E acetate, a viscous solution that's sometimes added to marijuana oils. Retailers in some markets are pulling products from their shelves that contain that and other additives. Other companies have proactively released public statements saying their vape oils contain only pure THC. Yeah, so I don't wanna read this whole article, but y'all get what's happening, right? Be careful with those black market THC carts. Um, I have an ar another article here I want to go over, but before I do, let's see how my my uh, limit sells and buys are doing here. Okay, I got 10 shares of Canopy that went through. All right, I'm trying to sell. Okay, this is partially filled. But not completely filled. Let's do another limit buy for TH, I mean, uh, CGC, 23.9. I usually go one cent higher for CGC. And uh, it's, it usually just works better for me that way. Cantrust, I f I'm pretty sure it's gonna go down today. So yeah, Cantrust, the limit sale went through. I sold all my Cantrus shares. So now I could put them into Canopy. If you're new, again, please subscribe. This is what I do. I do, uh, I read articles having to do with these pot stocks. And I do. Um, you know, pot stock trades. I show you out. I'm very transparent with what I, with what I do here. In my trading. Oh my bad. I went. I meant to go one cent up. So I'll cancel that. So um, what I'll get into next is how easy it is to make. Uh, black market cartridges and I'm gonna go to Alibaba and show y'all how to you know get packaging I'm not showing y'all how to do it I mean like I'm just showing y'all well yeah I guess I am gonna show y'all how to do it but this video is for informational educational and harm reduction you know purposes all right, so I have my limit buys. All right, so. Let's get into these bullets real quick on this other article. I'm just going to get into the summaries. 
A number of vape-related lung illnesses are linked to Dank Vapes, a mysterious black market brand selling THC products. Now, black uh, t uh, Dank Vapes go for about $30 on the black market where I'm at. I know this because I know people who buy this stuff. In July, an unarmed, unnamed, I'm sorry. In July, an unnamed man bought a cannabis vape vial off the street in Wisconsin and was later hospitalized and put on life support. The illegally obtained product came from Dank Vapes, a mysterious black market brand. Dank Vapes and other illegal cannabis brands could potentially tamper with an ad, uh, uh, tamper with and add other ingredients to their vapes and cartridges, leading to the spate of lung injuries being reported across the United States. THC vapes also often contain vitamin E acetate, a substance that can cause pneumonia. Yeah. And dank vapes, if I'm not mistaken, they're always flavored. They're like, they always have like these weird flavors. And I believe the, the people who have been found with these illnesses, uh, they're all, uh, if I'm not mistaken, one of the main links is vitamin E acetate. And it's usually in, from, from my understanding, it's usually in products that have, that are flavored. From my understanding. All right, so. It's very easy to make these carts. So this is a tutorial. I'm reading this tutorial just to show y'all guys how easy it is. How to mix and fill your own CBD THC vape cartridges with terpenes. Okay, well that's terpenes. But what usually people do is they buy terpenes. Usually like um, a lot of people will buy them online. Uh, I won't read all that. I'll, I'll just show y'all the supplies needed real quick. You can buy all the supplies needed from uh, for this process online. For this video, we use the Peak Supply Go Alchemy Starter Kit, which comes complete with terpenes, a viscosity booster, and all of the supplies you will need to create your own THC CBD vape. From, yeah, uh, so yeah, people will buy like shatter or other type of concentrates, and they'll buy terpenes, and Usually, like they'll heat the like they'll like heat the shatter and put it into the cartridge. Oh yeah, you can buy cartridges from Alibaba and packaging, by the way. So we're in Alibaba right now. I put here THC cartridge packaging, and let's see what comes out. To uh, you can see right here, 2019 hot selling custom cart carton making packaging, child proof custom packaging. So yeah, you can see all these. You can just buy tons of these, buy some shatter, buy some terpenes. You know, I've never done this before. You know, I've just read, I've just read on this stuff. So, yeah, so a lot of people will buy, just buy packaging from Alibaba and create the stuff. Seems very easy to create. Like this one looks very colorful yeah exotic carts so that one is one of the most famous black market cartridges exotic carts so you can just buy all this stuff online cartridges the packages the, the packaging this is my first time ever in Alibaba but I did this just to make the video So you can buy even terpene, you can buy terpenes from Alibaba. So yeah, everything you need to make these cartridges can be bought from Alibaba. Uh, I'm pretty sure you cannot buy THC from Alibaba, but we'll just look just for, you know, the fun, the fun of it. All right, well, there's CBD, well, well, there's THC CBD isolate powder, so I don't know what that is. Okay, I guess you can buy some. You can buy hemp oil from Alibaba. I did not know that. Okay, so you could buy hemp extract from Alibaba. You can buy CBD from there. That's crazy. So, yeah. So how a person in the black market can do it, buy, they can buy like some exotic cards, packages, buy some uh, cartridge, some glass cartridges.
and syringe you know and some shatter heat the shatter up and shatter is I think usually about 98% THC it's a super high percent THC so So you buy all that stuff and you can just do it online. Look at this. Crazy. So let's see what's going on with my Robin Hood. Alright, so Canopy Growth. Alright, I got all my shares I wanted from Canopy Growth. Right now it is 1,872. Oh, well, that's how much it's worth. Uh, I have 78 shares. My average cost is $23.95. Right now it is at $24. And CanTrust is at $119. So, yeah, if you found this video informative, please hit that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Peace out.